Hello, teacher Jackie here. I am testing out my microphone and look at this. I cut my head off. I am teaching from a different location. So this is my setup right now. I'm a little yellow orange. I need to check out some more lights. I could usually light behind you is not the best thing. This is a window, as you know. I'm sure they will know too. What if I change it upwards? That helps a little bit, not much. So I quickly grabbed my name tag from my house, a quick little alphabet. You don't need much again, if you know I'm the minimalist teacher. I did bring my star. I brought my thumbs up and my other thumbs up. My girl, my boy has the wink. I always say happy or smile or something, so I brought that. And I do have my yes and no. The good thing about teaching while you travel or in different locations is that I only have my regulars booked. I am not interested in doing trials this time, so I actually never opened any slots during this time, so yay. <laughs> I have a cold, which isn't fun, but I made sure I have some water, or this is actually green tea. Here's my water. I have tissues nearby and some cough drops. So again, this is unlike brick and mortar teaching. I'd probably call in sick, have to stay home because I don't want to get the kids my germs. My children have been tested positive for flu A, but my children, students in China will not catch it through the microphone. No, they won't do that. <laughs> so, excuse me. <clears throat> Thank you. I also forgot to bring my card, so I zipped by Target and bought this alphabet card and bought these colors and shapes, just in case I do teach some trials or need some fun with my regulars. I looked at the lesson today I know they're going to mention an owl, they have a frog and an iguana, so I went ahead and pulled them out for today, they're letters, cards. Um, these two boxes I bought separately, so that means I have a uh, receipt for them because they're going to be part of my taxes when I detail saying I purchased them for this job because honestly that's why I purchased them. I wouldn't use those cards any other reason. My children are older. They don't need flashcards like this. I also bought some more mascara and face powder. I don't want to be all shiny. And again, I normally don't wear that much makeup, but I also bought, got that receipt separately so I can use it for tax write-off. Expenses. Um, what else? Normally I would drink water. So that's not a, oh, my alarm's going off to remind me. Got 15 minutes before, um, what do you call it? Class. <laughs> All right. Well, I wanted to pop here and here and let you know what it looks like for me right now. I have the computer propped up on a basket, actually. And then I have a, like, um, let's see, I have a light. My brother-in-law, let's, let's see if I, this is too bright. Let's check it out. That might be better. I have to do that so you can see me. Teacher Jackie, I, I taped some stuff up here, but I'm going to keep it off. What do you think? Comment below. Comment if you're currently a teacher. What do you do while you travel? How is your setup? I know I've seen uh, other teachers. Uh, they have like a, like a backdrop they, they carry with them. Um, I just know minimal. I meant to bring a VIP kid logo. I don't know why. I don't see it or find it anywhere. I'm kind of bummed. I do have my VIP kid shirt on. I may need to adjust my camera a smidge here to show that. But that's mainly for trials. And then also for my parents who are regulars, let them know that, hey, you know, I'm, I'm serious about my job. I'm, I'm not just going to show up in anything. I know in the past I have other videos where <clears throat> I did go through a quick little season during the cold months. I wore a, a black, some black, um, which I thought was okay, or other colors. But um, before I got my VIP kid shirt, I had one peachish colored shirt. 
and I wore like a scarf too on the days it was cold. Uh, I wore worn a sweater too as well, but made sure I show my logo here because um, I want to represent the company well. You're considered a contracted independent teacher. This is your classroom. You create your design. Sorry, I hit the table. <laughs> you create your design and your uh, culture, your, your synergy uh, is yours and unique. But what's not unique is a lot of the VIP kid um, policies and methods you learn and train as, as you become a teacher. So if you're not a teacher and you're just looking at this and curious, like who's this teacher Jackie and what is she doing? Well, this is me. Um, this is my second set of headphones. I had bought the cheaper pair and then upgraded to this. Hopefully it's better quality. I think so. Um, I was able to purchase it because I got VIP kid money and actually hmm, got to find that receipt. This would also, I didn't need this headphones, but I bought it for this gig. I'm trying to fix my hair. I'm about to teach class. So I'll make sure, excuse me. This is embarrassing. I have to sneeze. Whew. I didn't. Whew. <laughs> it happens in class, and what's beautiful about it is you can grab your mouse, hit mute real quick, sneeze, cough, whatever, yell at your kids, your husband, whatever, then unmute and get back to your class. It's, it's a wonderful job. I really, really do like it. I don't like to call it a job. I like to call it a gig. All right. Well, thank you again. I hope that you are enjoying your teaching experience. If not, message me. If you're a current teacher, message me. I could chat with you. Let's talk about either some tips and tricks and shortcuts or how to, um, you know, enjoy it better. And if you're not a teacher, I would love to help you get hired. Um, you just get one quick referral fee after you teach a class. Otherwise, it's not like an MLM pyramid thing or any kind of chain reaction of, of things. I'm giving you a winking because I do have to sneeze. See, I'm good with that mute button. Excuse me. See, and you didn't get any germs. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to give you a thumbs up. All right. Until next time, happy teaching. Or again, click my referral link and I'll help you get hired. And you too can make maybe an average of around 20 bucks an hour. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.